Students, welcome to lecture 14 in hospital pharmacy and uh, uh, today we are starting a new chapter and that is health accessories and in that uh, uh, today we will discuss the first part health accessory first. So outline for today's lecture. First of all we will discuss what are health accessories. As you have discussed um, about medications and the various um, health products multiple times but uh, we haven't come across with this terminology like the health accessories so health accessories are not the medication but these are helping assisting the patients to get to the normal life uh, as soon as possible along with the other medications and the medical treatments where the patient is getting then we will discuss about uh, various types of uh, health accessories in which convalescent uh, type is one of the major type and then under this type various other types come like the ambulatory aids uh, ambulatory aids are uh, includes those kind of health accessories which help in moving the patient from one place to the other or moving the patient at uh, being at one place like in the bed to get up get out or the sit a better sit position um, in order to have the medication without spillage or uh, uh, or uh, or for their cleanliness, so uh, these all these ambulatory aids also help the patient to move from one place to the other place. Then there are bedridden aids, as I was talking about, over table trays, over table, um, over table, over the bed table. So these are the various uh, aids which uh, help the patient being on the bed to be able to move and do their things. Then all the orthopedic braces or surgical lifts are those kinds of health accessories which help uh, the patients uh, dislocated or fractured bones or muscles to be uh, to keep in one place and uh, uh, so that the healing uh, is um, occurs as soon as possible so what are health accessories um, if you look at the definition of uh, health accessories, health accessories are the items a uh, use of which provides patients quality of life and provides them maximum physical independence. As you can see that it, uh, the name itself is showing that uh, we are talking about uh, health products, but uh, the products are not medicines. It is not about medication, but these are some accessories which can be used along with the medication. Um, or the surgery or any other medical treatment uh, as um, accessories and uh, these are enhancing the patient's quality of life also it is providing them a maximum physical independence um, actually it could happen in the situations when the patient is suffering from disabilities or uh, or the injuries dislocations fractures and the situations in which the patient is not able to sur survive without uh, um, constant support and um, physical support and uh, physical help so in those situations the health accessories help a lot like the elderly patients who constantly need support of a cane or or um, walker or uh, wheelchairs like things and uh, uh, so um, along with the medications health accessories hold very important place in the hospitals these are not only required in the small hospitals, hospices, um, in, uh, uh, in also at homes, uh, but these are uh, especially required for hospitalized patients. So health accessories are important part which is required, which is um, uh, important to be assessed for the budget of the hospital, um, especially for the inpatient and the patients who would be hospitalized. So looking at the types of uh, health accessories, um, these could be of various types. It uh, uh, can be categorized as uh, convalescent types of uh, health accessories. Then there are orthopedic brushes, uh, which are also called surgical lifts, and uh, uh, these are very popular whenever there is a concern about uh, uh, a certain wrong movement of a certain uh, bone or muscles within the body, especially the clavicle bones or cervical uh, collar 
so these kind of orthopedic braces or uh, um, or various slings are there, arm slings, which help to uh, keep um, the dislocated or the fractured arm in, in, in a certain position. So orthopedic braces and um, surgical lifts are very important and a very important category of health accessories. Then along with the, that are bedridden aids. Uh, now bedridden aids are uh, those kind of uh, items which are basically to help the patients uh, while on the bed uh, to uh, be able to um, get up, sit, and uh, get out of the bed, and uh, sometimes to take the medication in a proper way without spillage, or uh, um, also help them to uh, keep their body uh, in certain positions uh, while being on the bed. So bedridden uh, aids are very important class of uh, health accessories. Um, various types of bedridden aids we will discuss in um, in this uh, in the in this or the other lecture, and a few of the examples are um, over bed tables and over bed trays, um, likewise cushions and mattresses. So and along with that another class is ambulatory aids. Now ambulatory aids are, uh, as the name itself is showing, are the or is the class of those kind of accessories, health accessories which helps the patients in their uh, movement, in their mobility, in moving from one, uh, one place to the other place, like wheelchairs, um, cans, uh, um, uh, various walkers. Uh, so these kinds of uh, accessories are included in this class, which are called ambulatory airs. Now coming to convalescent types, uh, it is important uh, to mention here that though convalescent types and uh, ambulatory airs and uh, then uh, the bedridden airs uh, be considered as separate classes, but uh, sometimes uh, according to other classifications, uh, bedridden airs and uh, especially uh, the ambulatory one are part of convalescent types. Like if you look at the convalescent uh, types, uh, what actually the convalescent means. So convalescent means gradual return to health, strength, and normal life. So whatever is helping the patient during that time period is would be considered convalescent type. So according to this uh, definition uh, or according to this idea, basically the bedridden or ambulatory aids are simply just an extension of the convalescent types of health accessories. So uh, there is no need to put them into a separate category. But of course, we can discuss such uh, um, uh, these uh, as separate health accessories, uh, but keep in mind that these could be considered as a uh, separate classes or could be considered the part of the same class that is convalescent types. So proceeding more with the convalescent types, so these are the supplies which help in convalescence process. Um, for example, ambulatory aids or chairs, as I discussed, that these could be considered again the part of the convalescent types. Then there are hospital beds, so uh, bedridden aids basically they mean by that, that, as I already discussed, that patients sometimes, despite the fact that they are on the bed, they need certain um, um, certain aids to help them uh, in getting up, sitting, or getting out of the bed, or uh, taking their medication in, in a spillage less ma manner, or, um, or their washing, or shampooing, or for various needs, they need certain bedridden uh, safety or sometimes you need the safety rails and uh, without the safety rails the patient could fall uh, down uh, fell down from the bed so these are various uh, health accessories which come in this category along with that there is another type that is the patient lifters and patient lifter is as an indicates, simply means those kind of health accessories which are helping the patients to lift um, them from one position to the other, sometimes the patients could be heavier and it is very difficult to uh, lift them up with the help of uh, human power or the available humans uh, staff. So in that situation, in those situations, the patient's lifters could be used. And um, there is another um, type and that is of orthopedic braces, which has been considered again, part of the convalescent types because again, uh, these all are considered those types of uh, accessories which are helping the patient to return to health, strength, and the normal life on a gradual 
basis whatever would be helping the patient during that time period would be considered as the uh, convalescent type at large um here in this uh, slide uh, um, few examples uh, uh, i have uh, chosen uh, of uh, health accessories like here you can see the bed uh, now this bed uh, is adjustable the position of the bed could be set according to the need uh, as needed by the patient's condition and um, uh, so similar um, uh, items could be considered the health accessories and we will um, see other health accessories pictures as well later on but this is one of the examples and uh, uh, this is another health accessory because in this condition we can, we can see that um, a wrist wrap is helping um, the dislocated or for example a fractured bone to be in a place and to less movable uh, in order to speed up the healing process so basically uh, what is it doing it is helping to um, keep the bone or the muscle or the dislocated joint in in one place and uh, not moving across too much which uh, would definitely affect the natural healing process and and uh, and uh, the joints merging again so uh, such kind of uh, health accessories uh, is one of the example of convalescent types but these are the generalized examples and uh, uh, later on we will see the pictures of various uh health accessories one by one according to their specific class so it will be more clear then about health various type types of health accessories uh to you people coming to the ambulatory aids um the items which help in movement and mobility of patients as you generally know ambulance is uh, the vehicle which is used to carry the patient in a hurry from one place to the other uh, similarly ambulatory aids are those items which are helpful in moving or making the patient mobilized from one place to the other or at one place in various positions so uh, for example the canes for weight transfer and balance uh, later on a picture would be shown to you uh, people and you would be able to assess that what is actually it look like it looks like canes how do they look and uh, basically these are helping the pa the patient sometimes uh, disabled patient for a short period of time or it may be very helpful for the elder patient on a permanent basis uh, to for with the weight transfer and balance or let's suppose the patient is uh, getting up and uh, they need a support and usually whatever place they are sitting upon they might not be having that so having a cane uh, with them um, uh, all the time around helps them to hold that and get it get up with the help or support of that cane and that helps them to uh, transfer their weight easily from one place to the other then there are uh, crutches and for these uh, crutches are used for temporary disabilities and uh, basically what the crutches do that these are lifted from uh, by holding with the both hands both of the hands and uh, these are lifted and placed on the other place ahead for example moving ahead and uh, it uh, step by step uh, it helps to move the patient ahead what, wherever they want to go so sometimes crutches uh, when the patient's uh, disability is uh, of uh, much more heavier sort of or like it cannot be managed with the help of canes so crutches can be really helpful in that situation then there are walkers a tool for disabled or elderly people uh, walkers uh, is a much more uh, defined version of canes plus crutches and uh, uh, walkers uh, can help the patient to move from also from one place to other but the difference is that it is basically used for the disabled patients who are not tem temporary on the temporary basis but um, disabled or the elderly patients then there are wheelchairs for weak and elderly patients so here you can see the canes of various sort of and uh, 
the patient according to their need and uh, feasibility select the suitable one for their um, support and weight balance. Types of walkers. Uh, so, as we discussed previously about the walkers, that these help in movement and mobility of patients. For example, non wheel walker. Uh, these walkers uh, are usually not having the wheels, and uh, patients are usually holding these. And uh, by holding them, they get a support which help them to um, get or take their steps easily which usually in usual circumstances they can in that uh, temporary disabled position. So non-wheel walkers are basically for the patients who uh, don't have uh, much um, worse kind of disability and uh, the, they, they can manage with little support. So usually they are having uh, or using the non-wheel walkers. Then the other type is of uh, uh, forearm platform attached walker. So forearm uh, platform attached walker are the walkers uh, which uh, usually have the wheels, might be attached or not attached to them, but uh, they usually have a forearm platform and uh, actually that helps them to keep their forearm in, um, uh, in a resting position and uh, sometimes the forearm is uh, also in the, in the bound or strapped along with the walker and uh, it helps them to uh, you can understand that it helps them to shift the weight and uh, um, to get a much better balance of their body and control uh, for their temporary or a little worse kind of disability, disabled condition. And uh, another type is uh, the wheel walker. Wheeled walkers are the walkers which are wheeled. Definitely they are having wheels. And uh, now this walker is a more refined kind of because uh, the walker is definitely having wheels, so it is carrying the patients more um, easily and around wherever they want to go. And uh, uh, usually these could be automatic uh, by pushing a button, the wheelchair moves, uh, the walker moves, and uh, sometimes uh, the patient is moving it. But most of the time these are manual walkers, but having the wheel. Uh, like let's suppose in um, this diagram, this walker is uh, basically a forearm platform attached walker. Here you can see that uh, the patient is using this walker, uh, but here the forearm is also attached. And uh, sometimes this walker could be used uh, by the patients uh, in which the disability is a kind of when the their not only uh, their legs but uh, one of the arm is also affected. So in that situation, this kind of walker helps them more and uh, to lift uh, their balance and to carry them around in a much easier way. So type of wheelchair, so as we are discussing about various health accessories and uh, health accessories uh, um, uh, we can see that are, are uh, being modified according to need of the patient. So the same is applicable to the wheelchairs as well. Wheelchairs, you know, are used for uh, movement of the patient from one place to the other place. Uh, so uh, wheelchairs could be of various kinds uh, according to the need of the patient and uh, how they want to use it. So one of the examples is of the manual wheelchairs. Now manual wheelchairs are kind of wheelchairs which uh, could be, which are movable either uh, directly by the patient itself, by their arms. Uh, they can move the, uh, the wheelchair uh, themselves uh, and they can turn it around and uh, 
or whichever direction they want to go um, but uh, and it could also be uh, run with the help of uh, a support physical support of somebody else's and uh, then in that condition the patient might not be moving the wheelchair him or himself or herself uh, now battery operated is uh, a little advanced and uh, refined version of the same that is a manual wheelchair and the basic purpose of battery operated uh, or, or the advantage you can say is that uh, in this uh, by just uh, pushing the button the patient is able to move around and uh, turn around whatever direction they want to go and uh, but along with that the downside is that for example battery is uh, over or finished at uh, some place where the patient is not having the supply of, of the other battery then that situation could be um, that could be a risky situation the patient would uh, land into trouble and uh, uh, would not be able to um, uh, like if not having someone else around uh, it could be a little difficult for the patient so uh, this is the downside of the battery operator though it, it, it is quite advanced and refined version of the manual one then another type is the three wheeled and battery operated and uh, this wheelchair is also very good the best advantage associated with this kind of wheelchair is that they are very faster because they are three wheeled you can see and uh, as the name is showing itself and these are battery operated so by just pushing the button and just uh, using the handles uh, patient is moving it around whatever direction they want to go it is three wheels so it is much faster and moving much faster so this uh, this uh, wheelchair is much more advanced uh, sorrow among the three so uh, coming to the patient lifters as we discussed in the start that patient lifters are also very important health accessory and uh, these are used to um, shift um, the heavy weight patients or uh, sometimes the normal weight patients uh, but they are used to shift the patient's weight and uh, to lift them up and uh, these could be of various types so patient lifters are used to lift the patient on bed chairs or commode um, and uh, these could be hydraulic or uh, screw type now the hydraulic one is much more popular and uh, these are also called the manual one or the manual hydraulic lifters and um, basically the manual hydraulic patient lift use hydraulic fluid uh, it is using hydraulic fluid as a force um, to uh, as a moving mechan mechanism uh, and um, these lifts offer a safe way to lift mobility patients who are unable to physically get out of bed or a chair on their own so these are very safe and very helpful and uh, a manual patient lift uses a hydraulic pump it is uh, and hydraulic fluid to raise lower uh, raise or lower the patient for transference between uh, bed seated surfaces or uh, lift a patient from the floor so hydraulics make the lifting pumping process easy uh, the patient is slowly lowered by turning the small lever uh, located on the hydraulic pump. So, and another one is a screw type. So, screw is um, uh, is uh, opened or closed, and uh, then the lifter position is changed. So, um, it also works quite uh, um, on the same lines, but obviously their working mechanism is really different. Hydraulic is working on, on the basis of the hydraulic force used by the by the use of hydraulic fluid hydraulic pump while the screws are simply using the screws uh, so this here you can see the picture uh, of the patient lifter and uh, this um, patch or uh, this support patch or bag you can see uh, is basically uh, the one which is carrying the patient and uh, then this is the shaft which can be lowered or or it could moved in the upper position and um, so basically this is a lifter patient lifter students this chapter is still continued in this uh, lecture we discussed about those health accessories which mainly include uh, uh, the uh, the wheelchairs and uh, walkers and uh, patient lifters and uh, in the next lecture we will be discussing about the bedridden aids and especially the 
orthopedic uh, um, yeah, braces or, or surgical lifts. So the topic is continued.